Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. I remember a long time ago, we were getting ready for our 10 year high school reunion. Again, it was a long time ago. And so it's 10 years after high school, and some of the classmates couldn't make it in town, so they were sending in messages talking about their lives and what's going on with their life and who they are and what they find exciting and meaningful. And one of the classmates sent in a message simply with this, my work is my life, my life is my work. I remember back then I thought it sounded weird, a little bit. Uh, now, to be honest, I think it sounds a little sad. Uh, because in the end, you know, as you get to be older, you, you kind of look back on that and you say, well, is, that, is that the way it has to be? Do you have to give up everything to build a successful business? Is this what it's about? And I think fortunately, and you probably know this too, the answer is no. Uh, you, you don't. Uh, you can have a happy life with health and activities and friends and family and children and uh, things you enjoy besides just cleaning. When I was young, I might have thought at 28 years old, no, I've got to dedicate every minute to this. Um, in the end, thank goodness, I held on to some health activities and my family and that went pretty well because in the end you can have both. Um, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. I was watching a movie the other day with my wife called um, Morning Glory. It had Harrison Ford, I think Rachel McAdams. Harrison Ford is this older gentleman who's a, one of the most successful news anchors of all time. And he's retiring. And here's Rachel McAdams. She's this up-and-coming, career-driven TV producer. And she is just completely obsessed with her career making this happen. And at the end of the movie, they become friends. And he shares a bit of advice to help her maybe some perspective from what he learned in his big career. He says, I have to read this. He says, I screwed up with my kids. Anyway, I was never at home. I was never at home. And when I was, I took every phone call from work. And he said, I watched TV out of the corner of my eye. And I'm not talking about relaxing watching TV, meaning TV for his job as a news anchor. He said, why am I telling you this? He says to her. He said, you're worse than I am. He tells her, you'd sleep at the office if you could. Then he says, let me tell you how it all turns out. You end up with nothing. Nothing. Now, to be honest, he was upset and so on, and they become friends and the movie ends okay, but his point was this total obsession with just that being the important thing can lead you astray, and it doesn't have to be that way. You know and I know we also want to develop these other parts of our lives. I know many successful cleaning industry coaches and, um, and consultants, and I can tell you, I, I listen to them online or talk to them, and I hear about their grandchildren and their children, and this is a huge part of their lives. And yes, they also built successful cleaning businesses. Something to think about. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.